Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Allison if you're new here, and today we are back in Baby Girl's Nursery, not decorating it in this video, but working on some serious organization. Christmas came around and Baby Girl, even though she is not here yet, was showered greatly by everyone in her family. Lots of Christmas presents came in for her, and so I have lots of organizing left to do. I'm also starting to get working on her dresser, and so far, anything that's come in for Baby Girl, I have not cut the tags off, taken out of the packaging, taken off the hangers, like all of her clothes are still on hangers, just shoved in her drawers. So today I'm going to be tackling the massive project that is her dresser. And I make a lot of good progress in it. I work on a lot of the clothing part, but make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel for future Nest With Me videos. I'm currently filming part two to this video where I'm actually going through and organizing like the cute little binkies and blankets and swaddles and medicine and a lot of diapers. That's gonna be part two to this video. So lots more to come, but also making tons of progress in this video. This room is really gonna start coming together. And we have been playing a furniture shuffle game upstairs for quite a while. We used to have Baby Girl's nursery as an office, so we have desks, a desk chair, all of that stuff, and then a bar cart from downstairs that we're trying to sell. So I called Christian upstairs to help me maneuver all this furniture around, and for right now, it's landing in the storage closet. Hopefully this will all find homes pretty soon or will actually be sold. But the main thing for this video is that it has a more permanent spot to live in our house while we figure out if we wanna sell it or not. So step one to this room is just kind of clearing space out because it's very hard to organize a room when it's covered in clutter. This is the last clip featuring Christian. He's gonna do me a favor. And this big blue box is our swing that we're gonna set up downstairs. And he's just gonna take that downstairs for me. We're not setting it up in this video. It's actually still just sitting in the box downstairs, but it was one less thing in her closet that's definitely not staying there. So I felt good about clearing a little more space in there because you'll see we're gonna fill this closet back up pretty quickly. I would love for Baby Girl's closet to be like really pretty and Pinterest worthy and do like custom built-ins, but one we're renting, so I don't know if it would be worth it to bother with taking out all of this stuff and dealing with the custom built-ins and then taking it all out once we're moving in however many years. So I think we're gonna just with it. it has like the normal classic closet, a shelf on the top with some hanging room, and also I didn't realize how much baby stuff we actually have to hold on to in store. So this big black box is her pack and play, and then I'm also going to be shoving a bunch of diapers in here, like those take up so much space. We also keep our camping folding mattress and all of that bedding in this closet too. So although it would be really pretty and I would love to organize that kind of space, it's just not practical in our home to do that to here, so letting go of that dream and focusing on the rest of her room that's gonna be adorable. Her dresser is pretty cluttered up here. I'm just gonna be opening a few random things. I placed a lot of large orders from Amazon and Target. Both of those places had our baby registries and offer a completion discount. So basically once you're close enough to your due date, they offer a 15% off coupon for everything left behind on your registry. So I placed quite a few large orders to get all of the very last minute baby things. So I'm setting some things up like her laundry basket and other little knickknacks that you'll see along the way. And then once that is cleared off, I'm going to be setting up her diaper bag. Now this is Christian's Christmas present to me this year. I might have helped him with a little bit of a link, but I love this diaper bag so much. We did make sure to buy it super on sale on Black Friday, so I'm pretty sure it was over 50% off, but I will link it down below for you guys. Here I am just trying to struggle my way through figuring out how these backpack straps actually buckle. I did not think it would be this complicated, but I had to go look up the product photo and actually like Google how this works. So so here I'm just working on setting that up, but I'll give you a closer look at this bag in just a second.
Now we are finally making some progress in this room. The dresser's cleared off and I'm gonna find a home for this laundry basket that's also from Amazon. The other white basket next to it has all of her books. So I need to find a spot that's gonna be a good home for that. But you can also see that our stroller and bassinet are still sitting in this room. Towards the end of this video, I'm gonna move out a lot of the larger pieces of baby things. Like her stroller is gonna come out of that space. That's gonna clear up a lot of room to see how it's gonna actually practically work for us. Since I am now 37, weeks pregnant that is crazy to say out loud i figure it is close enough to go time that having our stroller down by the front door is totally acceptable and probably a smart move so we're not scrambling to get all of that taken care of right before then but once i do that i'm also clearing out her crib i was basically just using that as a dumping ground for any clothing or blankets or soft things and then i'm gonna get started on organizing all of her clothes so her clothes are just thrown into two drawers of her dresser completely haphazardly like no rhyme or reason no organizing by size, nothing has been washed, nothing has the tags cut off of it, like I have my work cut out for me for all of this clothes, and my best idea to tackle this was to just throw it into one giant pile and then go one by one sorting through each item by size. So I have a pile for newborn clothes, I have a pile for zero to three months, and then I have three months plus. I wasn't quite sure how to do the sizing for three months plus because some things are three to six months, some are like six months, some say six to 12 months. The clothing sizes gets very confusing for newborn clothes. And then also I feel like a lot of the times the sizes are completely different store to store. So who knows if I actually have it organized the right way. We'll figure it out. Baby girl's closet will all work out. Oh, and then also if I find any accessories or bows or shoes or little baby things that aren't like actual clothes for her to wear, I'm tossing that over onto her play mat and I'm gonna be dealing with that at another time. But here I'm just tackling this massive pile that once it's actually like sorted out and divided up and organized, it doesn't look that daunting or that extreme. When I first dumped all the clothes out, I was like, how on earth is she ever gonna wear all of these outfits? But now that they're divided up, it seems a lot more manageable and less crazy. With the big pile worked through and down to just my three groups of sizing, I'm gonna actually go through and actually cut the tags off, take the stickers off, all the hangers. I went up and grabbed a pair of scissors because baby clothes can be so gentle and nothing is worse than like accidentally putting a hole through a little piece of clothing because you didn't wanna get scissors. So doing it the right way, cutting off tags, cutting off all the little bits of plastic that I'm pretty sure are still stuck in that carpet. I'm gonna make sure to go through and vacuum that a couple more times so I get all the little pieces up. And then I'm also, somewhat dividing these piles up too. I just kind of wanted to get an idea of like how many sleepers I had, how many onesies, how many pants. So if I was missing anything, I had an idea at least. So this is the newborn pile that we're going through. And my main focus for all of this was to get all of the tags off and get all of these outfits prepped so I could actually wash these items. That was one thing that I feel like I was definitely waiting for the last minute to do. Like I'm a first time mom, 37 weeks pregnant, and I haven't bothered to do any baby laundry. It just seemed wrong. And I definitely was feeling a little bit anxious sometimes to be this far behind in the process. So I'm glad that this night I finally tackled it all. You may notice the lighting is a little bit wonky in this video and that's because I was doing all of this at like 9 p.m. at night. I'm also binge watching Hoarders on my computer over there. In the corner you can probably see it stick out a little bit. So let me know what is your like go-to binge watch TV show when you just have a ton of work to get done. Recently I cannot stop watching Hoarders. It's kind of like YouTube clean with me but there's like more of a backstory and like a TV show side to it. So that has been super fun for me to watch, but question the video, go down to the comment section and let me know what's your go-to binge show.
here we are working through her zero to three month pile and all i gotta say is i really hope she fits in this size for a long time so many of her cutest outfits are in this size and i just think it's all so cute and so adorable i cannot handle how cute all these baby clothes are and one more thing that i've been trying to think of recently is working on figuring out her coming home outfit I didn't pick out anything in particular or like get super fancy with anything like I'm not gonna do a big like embroidered with her name on it like, I thought I would just pick something like pretty and sweet that she already had on hand but I don't know if she'll fit into any of the zero to three month sizes so also let me know down below what size did your baby fit in right after they were born I have an outfit in the zero to three month pile that I think is really precious and very sweet that I like so I think I really want her to wear that but I don't want her drowning in the evening Either. so hopefully she can squeeze into that but also we're now on to the last pile of clothes so all of the six month plus sizing is in this pile and this pile has a lot more dresses and more cutesy outfits so she's gonna be a little stunner at church if you go to church with us keep your eyes peeled when she hits about six months to 12 months because there are so many cute little outfits and I can't think of that many places that she'll be wearing really cute little dresses to besides church every week so that'll be really fun to see her dressed up for Good morning guys, it is the next day. Last night I was in this nursery for so long doing all the little nesting and organizing things for all of baby girl's clothes. I just had like the sudden urge to get this room under control because I knew that it was really chaotic. And I'm not quite sure how long this video is already, but I do want to make more progress. I want to start washing these clothes, folding them up. I have these dividers that came from Ikea. I feel like everybody and their mother uses these dividers in their Ikea nursery dresser. So I'm definitely going to be jumping on that bandwagon. And I definitely have a little bit more thinking out this process to go through like I didn't think I needed to buy any baby hangers so I don't have any and for our newborn pile and then all of the zero to three month stuff like I don't think anything really needs to be hung up that badly I can fold all of this but in her six month plus pile she has a fat stack of outfits that like would definitely do better hung up on a hanger so that's one thing added to my to-do list I still need to go through all of these bows and accessories over here. Not sure how I'm going to organize that. And then we need to address this corner. Um, the bassinet's obviously moving into our bedroom, like our master bedroom for when baby girl's here, but we don't have a lot of room for it in there right now. So it's still living here. Not sure what to do with my pregnancy pillow. We need to get the car seat installed in the car, not just sitting in this corner. And I need to bring the rocking chair back up here eventually. So that needs to be addressed. There's just still a ton to get done up here, but I feel good about the progress. Also the stroller can go downstairs eventually, but I don't know like when it's too soon to start doing all of these things. Like, is it too soon to have the car seat in the car when she's not due for another four weeks, three and a half weeks? Maybe, I don't know. But um, besides the point, still working on the dresser, working on that organization. Um, also getting a bunch of Amazon packages today and tomorrow and the next day. So even more stuff is coming in here. So I need to get this under control for my sanity and for feeling like I'm prepared to bring a child into this world. Here is the pile of all of the tags and little stickers and hangers I cut off from all of the baby clothes the night before and I'm going to spend a little bit of time here picking up all of those teeny tiny plastic pieces. Now one thing that I knew I didn't want to have folded in her dresser were outfits that weren't really practical. Basically the outfits you only put your baby in to take a picture of them in. So while I was going through all of the clothes that night, I also pulled aside all of the onesies and little tutus and all the glittery things that would only like work for a photo, like nothing I would actually put her in for the day. So all of that is in this gray basket that I'm going to keep up in her closet. And then I also have a couple other baskets that I was just kind of rearranging and working around. And then I finally decided it is time to 
clear out this space, I ended up pulling the pregnancy pillow and then also the bassinet into the storage closet. Those will be cleared out pretty soon. And then I'm also pulling out the car seat and the stroller to just sit in the landing zone. Christian actually is going to bring those down for me in a couple of days. That way I can feel a lot more prepared and then also do the final touches on this room. I'm also going to be gathering all of her clothes that I carefully sorted into her laundry basket. I made sure to like note which size of clothing was on each layer of the laundry basket. And I'm actually going to be washing them all based on their size. I didn't want to spend all of that time sorting them out by size and then not actually washing them and keeping them divided that way. That's my favorite way to do laundry is to just do everything separately that you want to keep separate. So Christian and I actually don't share a laundry basket. He has his own. I have my own and for baby girl she's gonna have her own laundry basket too and I don't like throw them all together in the wash it might take a little bit longer and be a little bit more annoying for the washing portion but I think it's definitely worth it because you save so much time when it comes to folding and sorting your laundry so her newborn clothing is now in the washing machine the first round of doing the laundry and I'm going to start setting up her dresser drawers and these little dividers from Ikea I was a little frustrated they didn't fit in the top drawers. The top drawers were just a little bit more shallow than the rest of them. So I think I'm gonna save the top drawers to be just for her diapers and wipes and then like any medicine and swaddles. And then I'm gonna do all of her clothing in these bottom drawers. I took a little break from filming, let the laundry run, and now her newborn size is all clean and ready to be folded and put away. Nothing is cuter to me than these little dresser drawers all organized and sorted. It is all so sweet and so adorable. I think I've said those adjectives like 18 times in this video, but there's really no better way to describe how pure and how small all of these items are. So here I'm gonna be doing each drawer just divided by the size. So this entire drawer is all newborn size, and then I'm also dividing it by the type of clothing. So the far left bin is all of her sleepers, and then I combined her short sleeve and long sleeve ones and then the big container has all of her outfits. For the zero to three month drawer, I'm using the exact same organization system with the sleepers, the onesies, and the outfits. But the only thing extra is these two little bins in the middle. One has all of her knotted gowns and one has all of her little pairs of pants and shorts. Now with the majority of her clothes organized, I feel so much better. In my next nest with me, I'm actually going through the rest of the drawers in this dresser and actually clearing all of them out because they are so full, so jam packed. It's basically everything that I bought for this baby that isn't clothing, still in packaging. So her six month plus pile I put in the closet for now because there wasn't space in the dresser. So stay tuned for the next video where I wrap up the dresser and all of that organization, lots of sterilization and all of that kind of fun stuff. But here I'm gonna just wrap up a few last minute things in the nursery. Like I said, get her stroller out into the hall for Christian to take it down for me and then find more permanent homes for her book basket and her laundry basket. 
And then I also got another package while I was doing all of this filming this day. So you'll see me unboxing another really fun, really exciting baby item. Drum roll please. It's gonna be her diaper pail. <laughs> That's also going to go over to the side where her laundry basket is, and that's going to be the last thing I am doing in this video. So if you enjoyed this mess with me and the organizing and can't wait to see more, I will see you guys for my next video on Friday. Bye!